If you want to create cool looking 3D sculpted characters, assets and 3D environments that are easy to use high resolution sculpting presses from Blender, which can help you add really realistic details and geometry to your models, being metal damage, hair or even dragon skin, it has it all. The package in total contains more than 600 high quality or high definition brushes organized into these categories, folds, damage, metal damage, wood, rock and stone, torn fabric, ornaments, skin, wounds and scars, dragon skin, fur and hair. After downloading the package, extract the zips into separate folders using your archive manager of choice. Next, open your Blender project and append the brushes via file, append and navigate to where you want to extract the zip files. Enter the folder and select the blend file and click append. The brushes now are in the sculpting brushes set. But before you start to work with the brushes, you need to add more geometry to your mesh for Blender to work with it. My preferred method is the multi-resolution subdivision modifier because it enables you to add extra geometry to your model and you can do that procedurally and select how dense your mesh is gonna be and move in between the resolution levels without affecting your original mesh until you apply it. Now select the mesh and open the modifiers tab, add modified and select the multi-resolution modifier. Under the subdivision section, press the subdivide button a few times depending on the level of subdivisions that you want. I personally found that 5 levels of subdivision is suitable for this brushes back. Just bear in mind that the more geometry you add to your mesh, the more computing power it will require to preview and render the project. But you also need to add enough geometry in order for the brushes to look more organic and not pixelated. So you have to take both of these into consideration when selecting the level of subdivisions. Now switch to sculpting mode, then press N to bring out the right panel. Click on the tool tab, then click on the brush picture. Here you will find all the brushes that you appended earlier. Select the brush, hover over your mesh, hold the left mouse button, and drag the mouse downward to adjust the scale of the brush. Move your mouse sideways to adjust the rotation of the brush, and let go to set your brush stroke. That's it. That's how easy it is to use these brushes. However, the sculpting that's done on top of the multi-resolution modifier is procedural, and your original mesh is unaffected. In order to apply the sculpting geometry on your mesh, you need to first select the level viewport level in the multi-resolution modifier tab. Ideally, you need to match the sculpt level to your level viewport. So from the drop down menu, select apply or press ctrl A. Now your original mesh has the geometry you just sculpted, so you might have noticed that your verse counts has gone up, which will of course affect the responsiveness of the viewport. So you need to keep an eye on it or use the remesh modifier if necessary. Now. It's all a matter of adding the appropriate materials, in addition to lighting and textures to your mesh. Generally speaking, the brush pack is a great collection of high definition brushes for sculpting complex models with intricate details that make your projects look amazing. So it is very handy to add to your sculpting toolset. And as you can see, thousands of people have chosen this pack to work on their sculpting projects. So this gives you an idea about how good this product is. The only thing that you need to keep an eye on is the poly count, so make sure to deal with that wisely, especially if you don't have a very powerful computer. So if you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful, if you did, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with videos and topics like this, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.